Hello everyone. A few days ago I um, reviewed a couple of sets of Artex acrylic paint markers and these two sets here and for anybody who's interested I'll leave the link to the review in the description box below. Now I made um, these couple of pieces of artwork. Um, love these so I'm going to show you how I made these today. I also made some plaid backgrounds as well so we'll have a play with these. Let me show you how to make the plaid because I think plaid is a great technique um, for us all to use. I've shared um, projects in the past using plaid and of course with the festive season looming very quickly um, upon us I thought this would be um, a good one to share. Now I've cut myself a piece of regular 300 GSM cardstock. Um, this is slightly larger than the one I made the other day. This is approximately four and a quarter by three and a quarter and I'm going to start off by using the um, chubby acrylic markers. I'm going to pick out a couple of colours. I'm going to choose the green, the blue and the white. So let's have a go at making something similar to these. Now, when I was making these the other day, I found that what you want um, is a dry nib. Hang on, let me just grab a piece of parchment paper that you don't want the pens to be too juicy of course you know to activate these you would pump them um, but it's best to use this when um, these are fairly dry and all I'm going to do is just draw some lines whoops I've missed the edge on that one this one's probably a bit too wet but um but that's so okay and I'm just drawing some lines. It doesn't have to be particularly um, straight, so don't worry um, about that. Next, I am going to add some of the, the green and I'm just going to turn this round the um, other way. I'm just trying to save my blotting paper um, underneath. Let's see if we can do this by getting close to the edge. And, you know, if you get some gaps, that's what you want. It um, all adds to the texture of your design. So don't worry about that. But you see, this one is drier and that's what's giving me this um, effect. Let's have another one down at the um, bottom. I'm going to give this a quick dry with the heat gun first. There we are. That layer of paint um, is now dry. I'm going to Add some more layers of the, the green in the opposite direction. This is so quick um, and easy to do. And then we'll turn it around and we'll add some more of the, the blue. The blue's starting to dry out a bit now, which is, um, which is what, we, what we want. And again, I'm just going to dry this with my heat tool to add a layer of white um, it doesn't really matter which way round you you have this we can overlap some of the colors that we've already done don't overthink this either just you know add your your horizontal um, lines we can go back in the other direction And it's just a case of building up the layers until you're happy with the design that you've, you've got. You see, that one there is a lot more bold um, than these. So, you know, all I've done with the two, the three on the left hand side is just keep going over and over and over my, my, my layers. We can add some more of the green. And of course, you know, I've lessened the vibrancy of the green by going over with, um, with white. So we're making this bolder. Again, I'm going to add another layer of the blue and I'm just going to keep going until I get um, a design that, um, that I'm happy with. We'll add another layer of the um, white. This is so easy to do. And it's starting to come together now. And it depends on how bright um, you want it. You see, I like mine to be fairly, fairly muted. So I'm using much more of the white, but I think that's about perfect. 
So if I compare it to, to these, there we go. That one's um, got a lot more of the white in it, but you can just, you know, do this in, in any way um, you like. Add a couple more layers of the green and the blue, and then I'm just going to call this one, this one done. Whilst the plaid is drying, let me show you how I made this one here. Now, again, the background um, I made using these chubby markers. So I'm pulling out the pastel purple and the fluorescent um, purple type magenta colour. I've got um, my piece of parchment here that I've just been using to protect um, my white background. And I'm just going to pop this in front of me just so that I've got it there for a reference. Now, let me turn this round the, um, the other way. Way. I started off by using the magenta. I'm just going to pump it so that this is nice and juicy this time. And all I'm going to do is just make myself um, a gradient background. And you want this to be nice and um, nice and juicy and and wet. We are going to blend it together um, in a second, and I'll show you how to how to do that. So I'm just going to keep keep going. That should be um, about right. Then I'm going to start off at the bottom. Again, I just want to make sure that this is nice and juicy. And again, just going to add some of the paint on the bottom. Hold it right on the very um, edge. And I'm going to go up slightly just so that those two colours um, blend together. We can wipe the, um, the excess off. We've got a little bit of contamination, but I'm not too worried about that. Then I'm just going to use um, a water brush pen. You could use a regular um, paintbrush if you, if you wanted to, but I'm just going to start off at the top and you want plenty um, of water with this. You could, of course, use mixed media paper um, or watercolour paper if you wanted to. And I'm just going to come all the way, all the way down, just to try and blend these two colours together. My heat tool. So that is my basic background. So now I want to add some splatters. To bring in another piece of um, this paper here, just to protect um, my underlayer. I like to keep this clean, just so that um, it's less busy um, on your eyes. So what I want to do now is use my white marker just to add some um, splatters. Let me just grab myself um, a ruler. In fact, actually, this will do. This um, is my bone folder, and I'm going to pump this just to make it um, nice and um, liquidy. Let me just get rid of um, that green that's on there as well. And all you need to do is just, there we go, wipe the paint off. So that's that's now gone. So make sure, pump it and make sure that that's nice and, um, and juicy. And then I'm just going to splatter like this. I don't want too many, too many splatters. There we go, a few smaller ones at the bottom and that will do fine. So this is drying, I'm just going to set this off to one side. I just want to make sure that my splatters are completely dry. You can see that they're still um, shiny. So setting that off to one side, bring back my plaid, which is now completely dry. And I just thought that we could do this um, on the plaid background, which might make it look just a bit more interesting. To create my flowers, I'm going to use um, the 30 set. So let's pick um, some colours that we might be able to use um, I want to use some contrasting colours this time. So I think that this mustard yellow would be nice, the pink. Um, what other colours have we got? We obviously um, want to use some um, colours that are going to work with this background as well. I think this grey blue would be um, lovely. I don't want to introduce too many colours and I think those ones there are going to be fine. Let's paint some simple flowers. As you can see, I've chosen another couple of colours um, into the mix. I'm going to start off um, with this um, green to start off with. What I will do is just draw a circle just so that um, I've got a base to play with. And I'm just going to really lightly touch and um, paint some paint some thin lines, just twisting, twisting my paper. Different lengths, they don't need to all be the same. And 
then we can add a different colour. Um, let's add this, um, this greeny grey blue. And again, just be really quick about it. Don't overthink um, what you're what you're doing. I'm just um, adding a really light touch here. Let's add some of this um, lighter green. And again, you know, if we go over the colours that we've already drawn, that's OK. Not overthinking this at all, just twisting my my paper. And then we can maybe add some of this um, this lighter grey as well. Isn't that pretty? These colours work really nicely um, together. Let's add some at the bottom layer of this. And if I'm going over that original circle I made, that's fine. That's OK. It doesn't matter um, because we're going to fill that in in a second um, anyway so I like that let's start off with the lighter colour this time and let's do um, another one so again we'll start off with a with a circle twisting twisting my card different sizes as well some shorter some some longer We'll add the green next. Let's start off here this time. And I'm just going to keep keep going and um, and draw a few more. Um, just overlapping and layering these these beautiful colours. So I'm going to add some of this um, darker grey this time. But because the colours are so opaque, um, they just layer together absolutely beautifully. It makes really light and quick um, work of this whole whole process. Um, we can also add some white um, if we want to. So I've got the white pen, pen here. This will brighten um, and lighten, lighten our project. And as I've said, it doesn't matter um, about that centre because we can add something to the centre um, in a second or two. I've done a smaller number of flowers on this one here. And now I'm just going to draw my, my stems. I'm just using an olive green for this. And I'm going to go in from the opposite side now and just, um, just thicken these slightly at the bottom and let's paint some some leaves now I'm going to start off with a light touch here and then press harder like this and we can do the same here as well these are just so beautiful to work with Thickeners going going down. You see, and I'm no artist, and if I can do this, um, anybody can. So I've played around with my my leaves. I'm happy with those, and let's add some details to the centre of the flowers. I'm going to use this mustard yellow here and the pink. Shall we try um, just a tad of pink as well, just to brighten, brighten it. Not too much of the pink. And here we are. Isn't that just absolutely lovely? I've just kept adding more and more details until I was happy with it. I've added some purple, some other shades of green to the um, stems as well. So that's how it compares to, to this one here. I also added a few dots of white to the um, centre of the flowers. And so that's it. Which one of these do you prefer? Okay, so this background is now dry. So I'm ready to work on this one here. I've chosen three shades um, of green. So I'm just going to add some, some stems. And this time I'm going to start from the bottom and um, work my, my way up. I'm going to press hard 
and then just um, release my pen. So hard at the bottom and then release it just so that we've got thicker stems um, at the bottom. We'll go in with the next shade and you want to just angle this so that you've got them um, in different directions just to add some um, interest. Different heights as well. Try not to overthink it. In fact, actually, the quicker you go, the better. Like this. And then we can add some um, darker stems as well using this, um, this darker green. Just trying really hard not to get my fingers um, in this. But, you know, just go with a really quick... Um, motion. That one's gone a bit high, but that's um, that's okay. We can add a few more light ones over the top, perhaps, because I just love it when these colours um, start to blend with one another. Me, that looks absolutely beautiful um, already. And this a really good dry with my my heat tool. So whilst we're letting that dry for a few seconds longer, let's choose some colours. I want to use some of these beautiful. Um, pinks and perhaps um, a red as well so we'll choose choose some of these um, we don't want too many um, I think that's probably uh, enough let's add some um, wildflowers which color do I want to choose first I'm going to choose this um, beautiful peachy color and all I'm going to do is just use my pen like like this So just angling um, my pen. We can add some more colours um, in a second. Um, I want to tackle this one at the top. Here we are. We want some um, lower down as well. We want them at um, different um, heights to add interest. Let's just add a couple more. We'll have one here as well. And perhaps one one down here. I don't want to overdo it, so I think that's um, that's enough. Now I'm going to add some pink at the at the bottom, just to add another another tone. Can you see, um, this is still slightly wet as well because I want these colours um, to mingle. And I'm going to give this another dry with my my heat tool to add some of the darker red colour next. I don't want to cover up the whole of my, my flowers, so I'm going more, more lightly with this. But this is just adding a really nice um, contrast. Next, I'm just going to add a lighter colour on top, just so that you can see sort of all of these layers poking, poking through. It adds loads of um, interest to the flowers. And finally, I just want to add some details to the base of my flowers. I'm using some of this gorgeous mustard yellow here and I may add some green I'm not sure yet let's just um, see what this looks like these pens make things like this so easy to do and then we can just add a tiny weeny bit um, of green here I just can't resist adding a little bit more colour so I'm coming back in with the um, original peachy colour that's in the background and just adding a touch of um, that as well. So here are my two finished projects. Um, I absolutely love both of these paint pen sets. I think the colours are beautifully um, vibrant, especially um, these ones here. Just look, I mean, these colours are almost luminescent, absolutely beautiful, love them. And you know, these brush tips are so easy to work with. For anybody who's interested, I'll leave the link to both of these sets in the description box below. But I'm leaving the video um, here for today and you know, just hope that you've enjoyed seeing how I made both of these. Just to bring the original one back, I think this looks far more interesting with the plaid background, but let me know which one um, you prefer. Um, these two um, are very similar. Um, the flowers on this one here are slightly smaller. The details are slightly different as well. And it doesn't matter how many times you try to recreate these, they will never be the same twice. If you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.